This is our friend Little Possum. He showed up tonight. He's got him some carrots up there. Yay! I love this little guy. Hey, honey. Come here, check him out. I set him out some carrots out here tonight. There he is. I love this little guy. Looks like a little kangaroo or a little wallaby. Down the state, there she is. What you got? Oh, okay. Well, he's eating the carrots out here now. Yeah. Look at him. He's going to give him some pancakes. <laughs> Donna just got back from Brisbane just a while ago and sitting back watching some TV and uh, a little uh, possum friend came out. Oh. <laughs> I knew this thing would come out tonight. You like that pancake? <laughs> Is it coming through clear? Yeah, Here, it's real clear. It's real person. clear. Yeah. Well, come on. You never met from the other night, don't you? There you go. Yes. <laughs> 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 I love this thing. <laughs> I was watching this show earlier at uh, 9 about these possums, and uh, some of them have wings. They fly from one tree to another tree. The possums do? Yeah. And I don't think this guy has the same. Uh, I don't see any like wings. wing coverage yet. He's just like a regular old possum. <laughs> <laughs> God. I came so close the other night when you were in Brisbane. Uh -huh. Picking this thing up and every time if I get close to him, he doesn't, uh, he won't let me pet him. But he lets you feed him? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this little pouch, see his pouch? Yeah, let's zoom in on the pouch. <sighs> It's been perfect now. Perfect now. My wife came home tonight and uh, got this little possum on her porch. You want some carrot? I bet you like the carrot. want some Don's pancake. Maple syrup on that pancake. What do you want? Give hmm? me. Mm -hmm. Get this done. Oh, golly. <laughs> Are you spitting? <laughs> Some pancake stuff. <sighs> <laughs> ah, I knew he'd come back. <laughs> <laughs> he comes up off the tree here. Huh? Yeah. Bruce thinks he lives in the tree. I think he lives in the house. But the Bruce roof. is probably right. I think he probably lives down in that tree. Down. I'm going to try to pat him a little bit. So we can get him closer and bring him up over here. Whoop. Come here. He's gonna come over here. Come on, buddy. He's a lucky possum. Mm -hmm. All this good food, carrots, pancakes. Come on, come on. No, don't, don't get that one. <laughs> Fixing a trail for him to follow. Yeah, I guess get, I let me get you on the video.
It's so different from our possums in the States, because our possums look like rodents, big rats. You can see how tame this guy is, and every time I try to pet him, I'll try to pet him, blow his chin, and he'll walk away. Definitely a pancake possum. <laughs> <laughs> Do the same though, but a choice between carrots and pancakes. <laughs> of course. Tomorrow morning we'll be leaving for Tasmania. One of our other adventures. It's a big piece. <laughs> <laughs> if Bruce and Teresa's light were on, I'd walk over there and big wake them up. Eyes. You get close to both his eyes, Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it's enough footage on the fossil? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and good night. God, Donald looks so good. <laughs> so but you're not showing that. You got turned off, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> good night, possum. Looks so like mm, big eyes. Still recording. So I need to sit here and watch TV, look out on a porch, and there's a possum sitting up there. Hey, Donnie's drinking the water now. Is that why you used her, Mr. Dobson? He gave you the number of the killer's girlfriend. How did he know that? He knew these people. They were after him. And the fact that the money for the hitman was in that mailbox? <laughs> How did he know that? It's still warm here. It's a beautiful night. It was our old Christmas tree. I... I don't know. Go ahead, Mr. Dobbs. I don't understand it. Oh, now our little possums uh, ten years of getting training, ready to crawl down uh, on our barbecue. Ten years of training to even begin to understand what's involved. There she goes. I think um, I've some bread for the birds, and the, now the they're possibly still. Cutting edge of science is always rather confusing, and uh, when we do understand it, and when things yeah. do settle down, it will become much more simpler to explain, and, explain and people will understand. I love more wildlife. But at the moment, it's true. It's you know something. This is like ten days before Andrew's before, birthday, uh, non and a couple weeks from my birthday. Which Life often is so get great. things slightly wrong and are often slightly misleading. And I often uh, wonder how they make sense of, uh, of cosmology at all. And I would sympathize if people get frustrated and fed up with it. On this one, I'm uh, Because they don't read a consistent story. I, mean, this one, I love videotape. I love this I camera. Thank you, Phyllis. There were ten dimensions, six of which are not with us anymore. How can normal people understand this? Well, but I think, I think in fact... Good night. 